Hi there guys, hope you're all well and welcome back to another weekly Outlook video. Um, so this is the first Outlook week video back. Um, myself and Jack were actually busy last weekend away from the screens. Um, so for that reason, obviously, there wasn't a video out. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. We're going to break down the pairs on the four hour time frame, just simply based on structure. So previous weeks, there's been Fibonacci's key levels and stuff like that. What I want to start doing is just breaking down the market in a really simple way. Um, just to basically hopefully open your eyes to how easily you can actually trade market structure um, and hopefully you can actually learn something from the video. So obviously, as always, we are just going to look at the high impact news for the week, see if there's anything we need to avoid, um, anything along those lines. So Monday, if you are obviously trading anything to do with China, then yep, you're going to be worried about this, obviously Monday morning. So pretty much tonight, if you are watching this, 2.30 in the morning, this isn't something which is really going to affect any pairs I trade. And to be honest with you as well, I don't trade until about 8am um, Monday morning. So this is outside of my trading hours. Going into Tuesday, Tuesday morning there is the minutes being released for the Australian dollar interest rate decision. This will basically just give a tone, um, whether positive or negative, on what to expect in the next um, decision for the Australian dollar. Obviously, it's overnight. I don't really like trading overnight personally. Um, so if you are trading overnight, then just be careful of Australian dollar um, early Tuesday morning. CAD retail sales. Once again, I don't trade CAD pairs. But if you are obviously a CAD trader, that's something to keep an eye on. Previous was 0%. Consensus is 1.8. So bullish for the Canadian dollar. That will currently be priced in. Wednesday, we've got the minutes meeting. Same again, which goes for the Australian dollar one. Just be careful. It's not something which maybe will make the market fly hundreds of pips, but there may be spikes here and there. Um, CPI for the pound, that will definitely move the market if the reading is much different from the 9 or the 9.1. Um, so keep an eye on that. CPI again for Canada. Again, keep an eye on it. Um, and then to be fair, there's not really too much... Um, obviously between eight and half past nine Thursday morning there are these high impact events for the S&P Global but that's not something which last time moved the market too much so in terms of fundamentals not much really this week expecting a bit of a quieter week it was the US interest rate decision last week and the pound so obviously huge volume last week um, but no let's go on some technical analysis so let's look at the dollar I've pre-drawn my zones obviously if you are looking at this here you can hopefully see why I've drawn the zones. We've got multiple levels which have been respected over and over and over. Um, so let's just have a look at what to expect. Dollar last week did actually break these highs here um, to the downside, or should I say these lows, um, at 104.6-ish. Um, we did expect a retest here for some bearish pressure to enter the market. But what we've actually seen is dollar broke back above this structure point here now because price is still trading if i do this right because price is still trading below this um high here i would still be in a bearish mindset so a weak dollar um i could expect if price does actually push down a good area to maybe buy the dollar would be 103.9 so if you can actually find a pair lining up with 103.9 when price does get here a nice retest of this area would be good confluence for a trade. But as long as price stays below this high here, or this lower high, you can see this high made the new low. So because of that, this is basically confirming bearish structure. If price did break above this high, then once again, we would go bullish. Um, but obviously, this is purely technical analysis. So what I'm going to say is just for now, I'm expecting weak dollar, and if price can get to the 103.9 area, or 104 if you want to round up, I would expect the dollar to get some strength, and there'd be a good tradable opportunity. So what we'll do, we are just going to look at the DXY um, initially, just for obviously the dollar. Now we can go on some pairs where you can expect some actual trades. So this here is gold. What I'm going to do is just add another zone up here. Reason for that, got support, support. Um, support again break resistance there so what can we expect from gold you can see with gold price is currently retesting this structure here 
So what we could expect to see is price to break up and come up to these highs. You can see pretty much most times price hit this area, we did see a reaction. With things like this, you can see that if gold's ranging for quite some time, price spiked out, grabbed some liquidity, pushed back into the range. Then once again, people were selling here. It broke out of the range, grabbed some liquidity once again, pushed back down. So all these here are pretty much liquidity spikes. And this is what I, I tend to avoid. What I would probably wait for is if price can break up or below these areas here, wait for confirmation with the retest. Because as you can see, this candle here slammed right down. This candle here didn't give much of an entry signal. This one here slammed straight back through. So if you can find some actual um, confirmation for the retest, whether it's price action, whether you've got extra confluences like fibs, EMAs, all that good stuff, I would simply be waiting for price to break and retest either of these areas and just wait for some confirmation. If price does break above or below, I'm not going to be setting a pending order hoping to get in. I would probably wait to see some price action, whether it's on the hour, whether it's on the 15, or even if, for example, it's in this form here, where you can see nice rejection and a bullish candle, or if it comes up to this area, you can see you've got a bearish engulfing, confirming that the selling pressure in that market. So that's what I'd look at for gold. Going on to oil, you can see towards the back end of last week, oil did take a big hit. I think structurally speaking, if price can come up to this 113 area, I think you could potentially look for shorts and just potentially hold. You can see structurally, price was stepping up here in an uptrend. Price then broke this, it's almost like a neckline of this structure, retested it here, and then absolutely melted down. So what I would probably say is as well, if we stick a fib, do we have any added confluence? Roughly coming up to this 50 fib, but we'll just focus on structure for now. You can see, look at all the all this resistance here. We broke through, hit support, hit support again. So if we can break and retest this area here, look for some confirmation in the lower time frames, whether it's the 15, the hour, the 30, whatever, then that would be good for a trade. I'm not going to say there's any buys in this um, market, but I will say that looking to short this area here would probably be um, a good bet, in my opinion. Going on to GGA, and I have just added GGA for this episode. If there are any other pairs you do want to see, then please just comment. Um, going on to GGA though, you can see that price did break above this high within the market. This was a lower high, which made the low. So now price has broken back above that. You could expect to see the price come back into the 163.80 region before potentially pushing back up. Final targets for a trade like this obviously could be extended, but you can see price did retest the highs the other week and there was a huge move off the back end of that. So just based on structure, we've got a lower high which made a new lower low. Price then broke the lower high, so we can expect a retest structurally before price continues bullish. In terms of sells, I would probably be waiting for price to maybe break this low here then retest up before obviously pushing them back down. And that's just for the upcoming week. Just because this is the low in the market, this is the high, we're simply just waiting for price to make its mind up. But I think your best bet, 163.8, this area looks really good for longs. Um, so if obviously you do mark that on your GJ chart, then maybe there's some good trades to be had. Going on to USD CAD, I've seen quite a few times people in the comments mention USD CAD um, saying can we break it down. So obviously I thought in this video we would. Um, so we can see price has absolutely been pumping this past couple of weeks. Realistically, we've got a break and retest of this structure here. You've got support, support, break, retest, resistance, big sell off. And then once again, you can see here we've broke this previous structure. So if we can come back down to this area before a push up, then that would be good. I think realistically right now, just based off structure, I would be bullish trying to buy. Um, but just be careful because as you can see, all this here 
is a huge push and price will need to retest and test these structures so just be careful um, if price does potentially make like a, a higher low here before pushing if price then broke that expect to retest and maybe catch the move down but this is a prime example of structural change you can see price respected this area come back retested it and then just absolutely flew um, from about 129.7 to 125.3 so a good a good 400 pips there finally going on to euro usd same again these are just lines with structure and what has been obviously working very well last week price did break and retest this area here at about 105 you can see there was a nice reaction initially but then price has then closed below it i think in terms of trades i would probably be looking for price to maybe push further up we are expecting dollar weakness remember based off the analysis at the start so if we could get maybe a break and retest of this structure here you could maybe buy that up like so and i think that would make for a good trade as of right now because price has obviously broken this lower high and in fact this high made this low so this is the valid structure price has actually retested it as long as we stay above and let me just do this correctly as long as we stay above this low here then i am bullish and buying euro us dollar there's no point looking for sales just because of the structure you can see another good example of this you can see price was stepping up neckline of this overall structure see break retest a nice bearish candle there and this would be an example of a good trade to get in just based off price action you could target obviously the lows to the left here and you can see that's exactly what happened so use that as an example to what you could potentially do um, but i think that would make for a good trade there's no point rushing into anything um, but that's about it i think best bet this week just gga trade looks really nice um, if price can come back and retest this area here i think by the looks of it there might be a 38 fib there as well yep so you got 38 fib break and retest of this structure the 163.8 number um, so that would make for a good trade so yes guys i hope that's helped um, thank you if you've got this far to the video um, obviously if there are any other pairs that you want to see broken down please leave them in the comments and i will be happily um, to do that and um, but yes guys thank you very much for your time hope you all have a good trading week and we'll see you in the next video